Blessings and peace, everyone. Narcissistic gang stalkers are very dangerous people. And what makes them so dangerous? They're dangerous because they have no problems performing wicked acts. They have no problems with walking in true evilness. And they have no issues with being a treacherous person. And what really makes them truly dangerous is that narcissistic gang stalkers, their very goal in life, once they set their sights on you, is to take you out, to annihilate you completely to the point where there is no return. And this annihilation can come in the form of a physical annihilation, which means destroying you uh, physically. It can come in the form of mental or emotional annihilation, which means doing something to you that um, you will never be able to recover mentally or emotionally. These people are dangerous people to have around. They don't mean you any good. They want to use you, they want to abuse you, and then they want to annihilate you once they've taken everything from you that they can. And so just this is just a warning. You know, check your circle of friends. Check the people that you're interacting with, whether it be family, friends, co-workers, neighbors. Check your, fam- check your circle very carefully. And make sure that the people that you're interacting with, that they're truly down for you, that they're truly uh, supportive of you. And look for the signs of narcissistic gang stalking. And if you don't know what those signs are, go through my playlist and there's a video entitled The Tactics of of narcissistic gang stalkers or the tactics of gang stalking. You know what? I think it says gang stalking tactics. Anyway, go through my playlist. And if you don't know what the warning signs are of a narcissistic gang stalker, listen to that video, take notes, and then look for the signs. Check your circle and check it twice. And when in doubt, throw them out. When in doubt, throw them out. You are doing yourself a disservice by continually interacting with narcissistic gang stalkers or continually allowing them to occupy a space in your life. Again, they can be very dangerous and they're dangerous because they do not have a conscience and they will not hesitate to take you out, to annihilate your life. And so just to give you an example, there was a young lady, and this was many, many years ago, so it lets you know that gang stalking has been going on for a long time. And someone placed something in her food or her drink that totally messed her up for the rest of her days. And they did it because they were jealous of her. They put something in her drink or in her food to drive her out of her mind. And believe me, narcissistic gang stalkers will push you over the edge. Even if they don't put anything in your food or your drink, they are capable of pushing a person over the edge. But whatever it is that they placed in her food or drink, she was never the same mentally or emotionally. And she lived out the rest of her days in and out of different mental institutions, in and out of different destructive relationships. Her life went downhill. And maybe some of you know someone that um, has experienced someone placing something in their food or their drink. And this person was never the same. And so that's just to let you know just how dangerous they are. 
and just how serious narcissistic gang stalkers are about annihilating your life, about taking you out. This is serious, people. So be careful. Be careful who you're eating from. Be careful who you're accepting, you know, uh, drinks from. For those of you that still go out and, and you know, uh, hang out and go to clubs and, and different things like that, no judgment here. But if you're still doing that, make sure that if you leave your drink on the table, even just for a second, when you come back, don't drink out of it. Pour it out. Get a new one. And don't accept drinks from strange people. Watch your drinks. Watch your food. Because narcissistic gang stalkers, they are very dangerous people. Thank you so much for listening.